Alright and guys, so we do start off today's episode of the Schalke Career Mode, it's episode 7 today, uh, with a game against Hamburg here in the Deutsche Pokal, the DFP Pokal as it's called in real life, so I call it DFP Pokal, I might as well, from that one, just I like call it Europa League, Champions League, the league we're not in, um, uh, we do win that game, we were at home, so I would expect us to win, we were using our second team though, um, and it was two promoting who got two goals, unfortunately Nastasic does get a red card, um, so he can't playing this game he wasn't really gonna play in this game anyways um so we have got a game now against um ingolstadt uh, they are i'm pretty sure they were promoted last well they were promoted this season they put in the 2014-15 season and are now playing i don't even know to be honest uh, i'm pretty sure they were recently promoted to uh, the first bundesliga uh, like this is the first season in the game as that they were, they were in the first bundesliga so um getting the win shouldn't have been too difficult we are playing with our first team as well um great goal to start off with uh for maya uh keeper probably knew or thought i was going to go for the bottom or top right hand corner for the right side of the goal but i did trick him did go for the left hand side you could see him he was starting shuffling um and and that was a great goal for Maya, and yet again, yet yet again, yet again, yet another um, great goal by uh, Maximilian Maya, uh, making it two nil inside the first 23 minutes, which is very very good. Um, I mean, two nil up against a team in in that much in that that quickly really, really good from um the side and um yeah maximilian mine does make it two nil and we're starting to build up quite a quite a comfortable league three goals in the bundesliga so far two of them in this game so, um he is in absolutely phenomenal phenomenal form um uh, ingolstadt do have a, a chance now though really shocking defending it was one of those moments where like it's not like they they that they had the really good chance or like a really good counter attack. It's just a bit of a lapse of concentration, really. Just wasn't really concentrated on the game. Um, I mean, having to score two goals, I was probably like, oh, this is a breeze. We're gonna easily win this game. It was a great a strike by Lex into the roof of the net. Uh, nothing uh, that uh, Farman could really do in goal. Uh, we had yet another chance here with Sane, um, who really let off a really really powerful strike there. Uh, but um, a great save by their keeper but it did uh, mean that we could only get a corner whipped into the center by guys and they almost get a danger away but it forced a guy a great little great volley into the area half volley really um but it was cleared away for a throw on to the, the chance is kind of gone chance here for de santo great roulette to get away from the defender who was uh, marking him uh, and the strike probably probably really stung the hands of the of the keeper um Put uh, Matip in a bit of danger there from his brother. I don't know if he's uh, they're related. Are the two Matips related? Tell me in the comments below because I don't even have a I don't even have a, a, any clue. Um, but it was a really good play by Farman. Uh, held Matip off. Almost really beaten for pace, really there, Matty. Um, uh, but we couldn't quite capitalise on that, and uh, the chance has gone. There, there, right back, the the Costa seemed really quick. Um, he was keeping up and even like outpaced um, our left winger, uh, probably one of the fastest players in the game, probably one of the best wingers in the game, Lucas. And um, that will be the end of that game. Uh, I mean. Uh, Good win, 2-0, um, and we will go straight into this game against young boys in the Europa League. Um, I think I think we're qu doing quite well in the Europa League, not the best. I mean, we've uh, drawn both our first two games, and we're coming up against young boys, and apparently uh, one of the players here, who Hu 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 uh, scored a hat-trick in the last game, he's number, f he's number 99. Why is he now a 99? Really, I don't have a clue. Um, we do have, we are playing with our second team here, and um, great little run here by two promoting, but a pass into the center wasn't great. I, I meant for it to go to um, number 25, Huntelaar, but it actually went to number 24, who is uh, Belanda, who couldn't quite find the back of the net. Uh, they do uh, get the first goal, um, which is really quite annoying. It is, in the, it was. Like in the 77th minute, uh, we were dominating the entire game. Not a ton of chance, clear cut chances, anyways. But once again, just a little lapse of concentration. Not the best defending in the world, uh, and uh, quite lucky they were actually because that uh, deflected off. Um, off, I think that was uh, Nastasis. I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh, we almost, almost, almost get just clinch it back, but. Um, 
yeah, not not the best game. A loss. We almost got it back there from a strike for, from Sydney Sam, but uh, one 0 loss to young boys. Yes, we were with our sec using our second team because we got a massive game coming up. Yes, we were away, but we really should have won that game. Anyways, let's waste no time and get into this game against uh, Borussia Dortmund. That really big game we were telling as it was telling you about. We were in fourth place there in fifth place only two points behind us they are um so this is a very very big game to, for not only a champions league um a, a champions league position top four but al almost a title really because to be honest um none, none of the teams have really started too well they've the, dortmund us or uh um, munich by munich or well, None of us have really done too well. Um, first one of the game, though, it does fall to us. Uh, Sané plays a Lucas. A very bad touch there by Maya after Lucas played him in. Um, took it away from the defender. Very, very bad touch. Um, and uh, allowed the defender to try the game off the ball. Benzema had a chance here. And um, some weird, weird glitch or something like that happened. Where, as you can see in the replay in a couple of seconds, like, what the hell even happened? Like, Kaisara was just... It was Kaisal was meant to be marking him, as you can see here, and then he just like ran around, like he just had some supersonic uh, burst of pace and just ran around Benzema. It was really quite weird. Um, and uh, they do get their first goal and uh, make the score one nil. Uh, Marco Royce then uh, made the made the score two nil uh, on the stroke of half time with an absolutely sensational half volley. Um, I think that was uh, Benzema or, or someone like that crossed the ball from the other side of the box. Uh, he chests it down on the bounce, just smashed it into into the roof of the net. What a goal! Nothing we can really do about it. Marco Rosso was one of those players where when you are playing with um, with a, a German side, he's one of the players that you really do want to get. He's a, he's like probably the best uh, German winger in the in the game really in the world. Um, and uh, yeah, really good player, and uh, he just showed his class. They were an absolutely sensational strike. Um, oh, the pressure was getting to the players at the end was kind of getting to me, and I really did not mean that. Um, Saitako by Joel Matip, I, and it's one of those things where it's like I think the game thinks he went in from behind because of the hit boxes and stuff like that. That because it was kind of going from behind, but it it didn't actually hit the player. Uh, it didn't hit. I'm not sure what player it might have been voice there and um uh we can try and attack right at the end of the game but it's not really going to do much um lucas run down the right wing um ginter ginter's got like 60 pace how i mean obviously they, they've made uh, running down the wing like less op they made pace less uh, overpowered but come on how does a player with 93 or something like that pace get caught by a player with 65 or so overall pace it's absolutely ridiculous they've just overpowered um defend defenders pace uh way too much but that's the end of that game uh two nil loss quite bad we've got yet another ginormous ginormous massive game in the next episode so stay tuned for that anyways if you have enjoyed this video please be sure to drop it a like subscribe if you're not already and i will We'll see you next time. Goodbye.